In Korea with Hyunwoo. And we are going to discuss some interesting Korean expressions that Korean people use on a daily basis, but not I mean, they're not translated into English very simply, though. Yes. That's right. Yeah. 안녕하세요. 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 Oh, good morning, Hyunu. Good morning. Good to see you. How was your Chuseok holiday? It was awesome. I was able to visit my parents without the hassle of sitting in the traffic. Yes. Because oh. we were able to get flight tickets, like I said last and, night. And oh, I that's re- right. I remember it was your new baby's first Chuseok, right? Exactly, exactly. So it was a very exciting Chuseok for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> In a good way, of In course. In a good way. But the baby was like a long It wasn't a long flight, I'm sure. It was only 45 minutes. Okay. So it was an easy trip. Right. Uh-huh. A good practice run for maybe a longer trip in the future, traveling with a small child. Well, I'm not planning to take my child to any... Um, other country <laughs> <laughs> with me until he's about five years old or okay. six years old when he can remember things really right. oh that's right but yeah it's a good uh, practice <laughs> <laughs> 네. 자, you have a quiz question for us that's right what is the part of your body that you use to hear things mm. number one ears number two eyes okay not too tough today one more time please what is the part of your body that you use to hear Number one, ears. Number two, eyes. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. You know, mm-hmm. if you know the answer, you can put it on our Bondi board or text in on your cell phone, pounder sharp 1045, and that will cost you 51. You can check our website later to see if you're a prize winner. Mm. 자, 우리는 거의 매일 같이 쓰다시피 하는 우리말 표현인데 이거 영어로 옮기자니 딱 한마디로 잘 떠오르지 않는다 싶은 그런 것들 함께하고 있거든요. So, uh, to introduce us the topic today, we have a small clip for you. 네. 기계를 많이 좀다 아시고 그랬는데 좀 기구 얇고 어스러운 기계 원래 좀 그러잖아. 얇으신 거죠? 아... 당하실 만한 얇은 분이라는... 정도가 아니라 종이장이에요. 어. 네, 여기까지입니다. <laughs> so the expression that we're going to be discussing today is 귀가 얇다. 귀가 얇다. Oh. So we could be talking about how thin your ears are physically. Thin ears. Yeah, thin, thin ears. ears. Mm. Do you have thin ears or just normal ears? Do I? <laughs> I think you have normal <laughs> ears. <laughs> 아유 복귀네 복귀. <laughs> Uh, I don't, yeah, like you said, Sensei Nim, translated into English, thin ears doesn't really make any sense. We talked about the expressions to be Mm thin-skinned or Mm thick-skinned. So thin-skinned means a sensitive person. Thick-skinned means a person who is impervious to insults and criticisms. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we don't use that when we talk about our ears. I see. So this is sort of related to the quiz question that I gave uh, out earlier Mm -hmm. because when you hear things you use your you know ears Mm -hmm. and uh, if it's thin it means you have less of a filter so you are weak at filtering out things that you don't want to hear or you don't have to hear okay Okay. yeah so Mm. does that mean like you hear everything you hear everything and you get you, affected by it, actually. Yeah, and uh, also you listen to everything. You're so. easily swayed. Ah. So since we're social beings and usually we're always surrounded by other people, I what see. other people say can influence your thoughts and decisions. I understand. Mm. You're easily influenced. Right. Mm-hmm. 그렇죠. Yeah. 쉽게 영향을 받는다. 얼마 전에도 impervious라는 단어를 함께 했지만 그런 경우는 반대 경우죠. That's pretty much the opposite mm. the kind of situation, isn't it? I would think so, yeah. Right. We're not talking... Well... In, in English, I guess, with those expressions, we wouldn't be talking about necessarily influenced opinions. Oh. Those expressions, thick-skinned and thin-skinned, refer to your emotional response to oh. something, mm-hmm. right? So if you're thin-skinned, you're easily hurt. Mm. But that's not what 귀가 얇다 mm-hmm. means, right? It's more related to decisions right. and mm. your opinions, maybe, not like really uh, necessarily related to your emotions right. okay so if i say for example um oh i didn't like that movie with tom cruise and po young says oh really i think tom cruise is a great actor and i say oh yeah me too i, I, I really like the movie <laughs> pushover is, that, is okay <laughs> yeah. right so, so that's the kind of situation that's one example okay and oh. if you were maybe planning to watch a movie by tom cruise uh-huh. and Lee Boyong young sensei says anything bad about the movie and you suddenly cancel right. that movie oh. and you watch something else. Okay. In that case, you can say 귀가 얇다. So mm. in English, if you look up at the expression 귀가 얇다 in a Korean English dictionary, mm. you will actually encounter this word gullible. Gullible. Okay. Yeah, G-U-L-L-I-B-L-E. Mm. But gullible is a little bit different from the Korean notion of right. 귀가 얇다. Right. Oh. 
gullible is pretty easy to like uh, uh, trick that person. Yeah, a gullible person will believe anything. Anything. Right, right. anything that you tell them. Oh. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Thing, mm-hmm. You know, because it just simply means the person is very trusting mm. to words that you're saying. Mm. But an easy example is if I say the sky is green and you say, oh, really? Mm. You're a gullible <laughs> yes, person. I'm yeah. a gullible person. <laughs> so being <laughs> simply is a really, really gullible person. Yeah. <laughs> so being gullible. But it's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's though. not a bad thing. And it could be part of being a 귀가 얇은 사람. Mm. Right. But 귀가 얇다 has more meanings to it mm-hmm. than just being gullible. Mm-hmm. So uh, when you are uh, trying to translate 귀가 얇다 into English, some of the things that you can say uh, in English uh, are maybe being easily influenced by what others say mm-hmm. or believing everything you hear mm-hmm. or being easily swayed by what others tell you. Oh, right. 저도 이제 귀가 얇다라는 말을 영어로 옮긴다라고 할때이 sway라는 단어를 가장 많이 생각하게 되는 것 같아요. 왔다 갔다. That would be my pick. Right. Yeah. 그러니까 그갈 때가 이렇게 이리 쓰러졌다가 저리 쓰러졌다가 yeah. 하는 거 뭐냐 sway 한다 이거잖아요. Yeah. 음. Easily influenced is a pretty much the equivalent. Right. I think believe everything you, you hear That's more on the gullible side of things, mm-hmm. yeah. Right. And we say in Western culture when we talk about teenagers or when we talk about people who are in their early 20s, very early 20s, we say that they are easily influenced, mm-hmm. particularly teenagers, I think. Right. You know, so parents will say that, you know, you have to be careful who your child spends time with, who their friends are, because, you know, during those years, Well, teenagers are easily influenced. Mm. I think it's the same for parents as well. Mm. Because parents would listen to other parents' tips on how to raise children successfully. Right. Right. (laughs) And whenever somebody says anything about something that worked for them, Mm. Uh they would do the same thing. Exactly. Too much information. Too much information. I'm thinking of the example might be a mother-in-law or Uh a father-in-law. If you are, or maybe even your own parents, if Mm -hmm. you're raising your own child... And your mother-in-law or your mother says, well, you should do it like this because when I raised you or when I raised my daughter, Uh. then I did it this way and you should do it that way. Have you encountered that scenario? Not yet, but uh, (laughs) I am raising my um, baby boy Mm -hmm. bilingually right now. Mm -hmm. And whenever I tell my story to other people around me, Many people are actually 귀가 <laughs> 얇아서 <laughs> They think, oh, maybe I should do that too right. mm. So you shouldn't really change your uh, decision or mm. opinion or um, plans Just by hearing some, in somebody talk about it like I mean, it's doable once. If it's doable and if, if you can actually carry it out like, mm-hmm. without too much difficulty I think it's fine I mean, yeah. 다른 사람의 예를 보고 저게 좋다고 생각해서 나도 따라한다라고 할 적에는 뭐할 수만 있으면 나쁘진 않은데 할수 없거나 mm-hmm. 하지 않아도 될때 굳이 할 yeah. 필요는 없다는 거잖아요 If you 거잖아요. do it too often that's a problem yeah, So, right. 귀가 얇다 once again uh, when you are easily influenced by what other people say mm-hmm. or when you believe everything you hear you are a 귀가 얇은 사람 Okay <laughs> All right, Yanu, that was really interesting. Uh, before we finish up, could we get the answer to your quiz, please? So what is the body part that you use to hear? Number one, ears. Number two, eyes. 자, 정답은? Ears. Right? Ears. All right, and you can check our website later to see if you are a prize winner. Yanu, have a great day. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.